uh, in reality, there is a finite number of things that go wrong, and um, the contributing factors are themselves finite in number. So if you can identify what's going wrong, you can, it helps you to set priorities and what the outcomes are. But more importantly, if you understand why they are going wrong from the perspective of the individuals involved, the teams involved, uh, then you can start getting lists of the sorts of things which are um, waiting in the wings to help to contribute to the likelihood of something going wrong, and you can systematically deal with them. That the most efficient way of capturing useful information about things that go wrong is to have a call center which is equipped with the software where trained operators can um, use cues to ask the right questions of the people which are relevant to the particular type of thing that went wrong and make sure that a systematic body of knowledge is, 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 is collected. When the World Alliance for Patient Safety, uh, under the auspices of the World Health Organization, wanted to develop an international classification for patient safety, people were uh, asked to be involved who came from uh, various countries and from different organizations which had a background in those areas. So I came from uh, the Australian Patient Safety Foundation, where we had developed probably the most comprehensive classification um, internationally at the time. And this has been used as one of the classifications which forms the basis for the new international classification. My own role in phase two of it is to, be, uh, to lead the group who is developing the content for the international classification. And we're using the um, AIM system and the common formats in the United States as the main starting points for that.